Andy, I brewed for the first time a maple bourbon stout. Nice. Kind of going for like CBS, you know? Mm hmm. What do you think? Tell me. Give it a shot. All right. Eh? Ooh. All right. All right. Andy, what are you doing? I'm going to need three of these to get that taste out of my mouth. What? <laughs> All right, welcome back to 1090. I'm Andy, this is Todd, rolling along in Barrel Aged Beer Month. Such a good month. And uh, not a bad effort, Todd. I was yeah. giving you a hard time, but the inspiration for your beer exactly. stemmed from us first trying founder's CBS Canadian Breakfast Stout a few years back. No doubt. And now you know, one of the things about Barrel Aged Beer is that second word aged yeah and we love to do verticals we just did a vertical of the 2019 vertical collection from bourbon county stout which we'll link you back up there now amazing which is the 17 18 and 19 and we're going to do that again today we've got the 17 18 and 19 canadian breakfast stout and just for those of you out there if you can grab any of them do it now this is going to be as of now, the last year. So sad. For the CBS. And this is a really good beer. So Amazing beer. But I love lining them up and tasting them. So tell us a little bit about the beers, Todd. Yeah. I so can't wait to get into them. It's basically Founders Kentucky Breakfast Stout with mm -hmm. one difference. They then not only put it in bourbon barrels, but the bourbon barrels are actually barrels that were aged with maple syrup. So not only they had bourbon, they also had maple syrup. So they've got those two flavors contrasting in the barrel to give you Canadian breakfast stout. Sounds amazing. And we've had these before we loved them. The 19 just came out. Just came out. Uh, first time available in the 12 ounce bottles. I love it. I so, love the 12 yeah, ounces. You can have grab, one. Grab a four pack of them because they're yep. really good. Yep. Um, but let's do what we've done before. Let's done. start with the 17 and work our way to the brand new release. Um, this is the last year that you'll notice that they actually had the Canadian Mountie on yep. the front, so that's an easy way of recognizing the 17 if you see it out there quickly, visually. Yep. It's also got the 17 listed on the side of the label. Yep. But um, this is the biggest of the lot at 11.7 ABV. This is 11.6. It's 11.3. goes down just mm. a little bit, so we'll see if that plays it all mm. into it. But uh, let's get a nose on this. Mm. So, you know, again, you, sh you should get... an. Well, the bourbon comes through, but I'm actually getting some chocolate notes right off the bat. Well, I'm expecting the coffee, the sweetness from the maple syrup, but... It's got a real nice sweetness. Real nice. It's there. sweet, but I'm almost getting a chocolate sweetness. There, not, there, is some, some, but there is a little bit of that roasty note that's yeah. coming through there. Oh, it smells fantastic, doesn't it? It smells really nice. Yeah, Let's cheers. Let's try. Mm. Okay. So it's not as coffee forward no, as I think it was back in 2017. So that has definitely subsided. I think the bourbons come up. You get more of the uh, chocolate, espresso. Sort of. I, I'm getting a bit of the coffee on the back yeah, end. But I, there's a lot of sweet notes hitting sweet. on this. This and is a very syrup. sweet beer. Um, mm -hmm. mm. More so than I'm used to for some of the um, yeah, it's big barrel-aged beers. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you've got the maple syrup playing in there, but... The sweetness is really shining on this. It has. So it certainly, and when we get to 19, I think we'll see hopefully more of the, the coffee notes come through. It's interesting to see two years aged. I think that coffee note has come down and the sweetness has come up in the maple syrup. And I'm actually getting coffee. I mean, chocolate too. Yeah. There's you know? some chocolate there. Yep. Almost some, some candied fruit mm -hmm. coming through there to get yeah. that back in. Oh, it's delicious. I mean, though. it's a very good beer. Real good. It's real nice. So that's the 2017. All right, 17. All right, let's get on to the 18. All right, so 2018 up next. 17 was good. Let's get a nose on this yeah. guy. Let's see how this now the smell. I'm getting the coffee off of that one. So a year in aging. This doesn't smell as sweet. No, right off the bat, all no. the nose to me. I get more coffee notes. Not I the do too. A little bit of a darker chocolate. Yes, type yes. Too. Yep. That's, cheers. Let's, let's get into all this right. one. Huh? 2018 CBS. Mm. Mm. Mouth feels. A little bit more creamier too. It's bigger. It feels bigger, even though it's slightly lower ABV. Mm. I'm going to say this. Mm. I, I already between the two, I'm enjoying the 18 more. Yep. It's got a little more bite. It's not quite as sweet. Correct. 
which I like. This this really was sweet for me. This um, feels like you get a little oh. bit more of the bourbon as opposed to all maple. Mm-hmm. Um, it's bourbon and coffee. And, That's what I'm getting. And you know, it's funny. It finishes coffee. That when we did oh. the VCS review, yeah, that 18 got better. It was perfect. And it, it was making us wonder, is that one year aging the sweet spot? We're finding with a lot of beers, it really does 100%. Yep. a lot of nice things after one year. And then things can dissipate. Even that 17 of the BCS seems slightly, it seemed like some of the flavors were dissipated a little bit from yep. the year before. Yep. This, I don't remember it being so sweet. So that, that might yeah. be one of those things that kind of comes that's in. That's true. And I think what's happening is the coffee subsiding significantly there, and that's allowing the maple syrup to come through. The bourbon's also not coming through. It's as not much. as prominent. The bourbon I... coffee here tastes really good. The sweetness is there, but it's very faint. It complements the espresso, the coffee, and then, of course, the bourbon really well. I think the mouthfeel on this, it feels creamier to me as well. It I don't does. know why that would be. Well, it's just, you know, it's... Mm. Mm. This does feel like a thicker beer. Yeah. More yeah. of a sipper. I, I, of the two... My well, nod so far goes 18, but I won't say anything else. That's not because, that's it. Because the, the new one that just came out, we're both looking forward to trying. Yeah. Coming up now. All right. All right, so we've got the 2019 here. I'm really excited to try this. See how it compares also to the 18 and 17. What do you get on those, Andy? Let's see, I'm already... Yeah. The nose to me is a little more similar in flavor to yep. the 18. Yeah. Um, yep. I'm picking up uh, some of those things I want though on this. I uh, get a little bit of that, yeah, that smells cocoa, really good. a little bit of the, yep. the, the chocolate, the roastiness. Yep. Um, I think the aroma might be a little better, tell you. This is a pretty smell. All right. All right, let's 2019 see. Canadian breakfast out. Mm. Man. Wow. So again, it's very I think it's certainly more similar to 18 than, than 17. I, I'd say I think so too. It's definitely not as sweet again. Nope. But um, there is a sweetness that finished is there. So you have the sweetness from the maple syrup. You have the coffee certainly is present. Mm -hmm. And then the bourbon's there. It's not like a bourbon county stout, like no. you mentioned earlier, but it, it's really blended well. I, I think these two are much more balanced. And this wow. actually will probably just get better, too. I think so. Um, but I'm really oh, enjoying so this good. now, fresh out mm -hmm. of the gates. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm not a fan of that yeah. year's release You're versus right. things that are yeah. aged. I typically always you like, like it a, a, yeah. at least a year two. prior. Yeah. Um, but this hmm. is really close. Really, really close. Yeah, and I don't know why that is. I wonder if the maple characteristics are what causing us to say that because that sweetness could overtake some of those other mm -hmm. adjuncts, the, the coffee. I mean, this is basically a coffee stout that's aged in bourbon barrels, and then you add on the maple syrup. Yeah. Yes, there's a lot going on, but I think when you get it fresh like this, if it's done right, mm -hmm. Uh, it works perfectly. I think this is what I was trying to go for with my my homebrew. Yeah, <laughs> I was just a little bit off. Worn off by much. <laughs> the, I love the coffee on this. The I coffee do too. finish, and I think that's the uh, the element. There is that coffee's got to cut through the maple because bourbon is is yeah. in and of itself sweet oh, too. You so get a lot good. of those caramel toffee kind of charry notes from the bourbon. Yeah, and then you play that with maple syrup, and you can have a beer that is overly sweet. Yep, in some ways reminiscent of now how I'm feeling about the seventeen. Yeah. Um, yeah. The 18 felt like a fuller, more viscous beer, which yep. I liked. And the 19 kind of mimicked that, even though they're lower in ABV, yeah. which is kind of interesting. So we do this all the time. All right, let's do Let's the start with our barrels. Barrels, first. right. So, so let's, we'll, we'll rank them one to, one to three, but let's, barrels for the 19, what are you thinking? I'm giving this a good four or five. Four or five? Yep. What are you giving it? And I would say um, four. Three yeah. for me, something okay. like that. A little under the yeah, four. Little, okay, little, not quite a four and a half, but it's a, but like a four point three. I would say. I mean, it's a it's a solid beer. Amazing. It's yeah. really good. Solid is an understatement. This is a great beer. No, it's it's a really good beer. And look, founders they do a good job with barrel aged beers. Yep. Period. Yep. And one of the reasons why this is no longer going to be available mm. is because they want to take that shame. barrel aged <laughs> experience yeah. and experiments further. And so they've got some new things lined up for twenty twenty and beyond. Now. That being said, things find a way back. This was also gone for yep. a while and then made a resurgence. So it comes back. So if you get them, sit on them. Yeah, buy a bunch of them, sit on them, and yeah. see how they change. We say this every time. Yeah. Year after year, the beer's complexities change. 
sometimes for the better. Mm -hmm. And so do that. We're certainly going to do it. Absolutely. All right, let's rank these. All right. um, I'll give you mine. I think it's pretty straightforward. Yep. It's going in reverse order. I like 19, 18, 17. That's not always the case for me. No, it's not. But um, I think I like this the best. It's very close. These two are very close. 17 certainly is good, but not the, the quality of these yeah. two. And I can't argue with that. Yeah. Um, just because we never agree. <laughs> I am liking the 18, I think, just oh, a smidge more. You are going to argue with it um, then. So you're going to go 18, 19, 17. But I'm going 18, 19, 17. I think 17, um, a good beer, just a little too much on those yeah, sweet notes. 100%. And I want I wanted a little bit more of that balance between some of those bitter notes to offset some of that sweetness. Yep. I felt like the year of aging did this really well. Oh, yeah. Like it does with a lot this of close. good barrel-aged beers. This is probably going to continue to oh, get yeah. better, which is making me think next year will be fun to pull another one out. Going to have to do that. Um, but again, another nice release from uh, the CBS crew. Uh, Founders. I, I love it. Over yep. Founders does good stuff. Yep. Sorry to see you go, but uh, like I said, see they, they have, have got the means, pick them up. Um, yep. And they do, Founders does a lot of great barrel age stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll be reviewing some, some additional new things coming down the pike I very so. soon. Speaking of which, this month's been flooded with barrel aged goodness. Go back, check out the catalog. We've got all kinds of good stuff Playlist already below. there. Yeah. And some more good stuff on oh. the way. <laughs> um, but if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell in the corner. Hit the thumbs up too. Hit that it's thumbs gonna up. It's going to let you know yeah. every time. I'm with you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> every time we've got a new video, we've got Instagram, we've got Twitter. We're going to put this 2019 on untapped. Yes, we are. And other than that, uh, Todd is going to have to go and get back to work on trying to <laughs> yeah, I gotta do some modifications. his recipe just a little bit. I don't think I have the access to the barrels that these other ones do, but we'll, we'll make let's, do. Let's toast to your excuses. There you go. That's what I'm full of. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kidding me? Nice That's beer. Awesome.